Hey guys, Cheryl here with Cheryl Logan Photography. Um, just wanted to do a quick tutorial showing you how to use the Flood plugin from Flaming Pear. Um, just a fair warning, my cat Bentley is sitting right here next to me and he may decide to talk to us while I'm talking. So just a heads up. <laughs> so the Flaming Pear website is flamingpear.com um, and the one I used is the Flood 2 uh, plugin. It basically just gives you a way to create very realistic water reflections and you can control like the size of the waves and ripples and all of that so it's pretty straightforward pretty simple to use I've already installed it and so it is here in my Photoshop so I have an image selected um, and I'm just trying something different because I usually just I'll start here and um, increase the canvas size just by going to image canvas size and I'll double the height of the canvas um, and what I did, and usually I leave that white and just make the adjustments. And sometimes I get a little bit of white along the lines of the water. So this time what I did is I lined up colors that line up with the image right where it's at. So the pink for the dress and the green for the greenery around the rock. And we're going to see how that goes. So I'm going to filter, flaming pear, and then flood. So I'm liking what that did. <clears throat> so I don't have any white specks I have to deal with and clean up later um, with the colors the way they are. So I'm going to adjust the horizon and see if I can perfect it just a little bit. Actually, I want to go down right up to the rock there. And with the offset, you can kind of fine tune where that hits. So you want it to line up right with the bottom of your image. So I've already kind of adjusted, because I've used this a couple of times, what I want my water to look like down here. Um, but you can, under style, there's simple, um, which is just like a kind of a more vibrant, reflective water. And then the complex has more of the water texture and ripple to it. So I've just kind of really like how how much more realistic that that looks and you can adjust you know the waviness complexity the brilliance um, so I, I want to keep the brilliance up rather than having it be too dark um, you can adjust the blur of your reflection so you have you know all of these adjustments that you can make as far as this the ripples the size the height everything there so I kind of have this where I want it I recommend when you first get it just play with all of the options and see like what you like if you want the water to look really wavy um, which for this instance does not look realistic um, you have a lot of room to play and make this image your own and, and just make it really work for you so I am gonna leave it just right about there So I want her reflection to be in there, but I don't want it to be the showcase of the image. It's okay, in my opinion, if it's a little distorted, because if you're looking at a reflection in water, often it is kind of distorted. So There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So this takes a little bit to run, so I'm going to pause it for a second because my computer will take forever. Okay, so that finished running. And so what you'll see is we have the water reflection below the image. We do kind of have a line though, and I like to go in. The line is okay really here under the rock. It doesn't bother me too much, but it does kind of, um, I do notice it more on the pink dress. So you can do a couple different things. Um, you can take a brush tool and match up the color and kind of blend in um, with a soft brush, or you can use the patch tool and, and do some adjustments there. I like to just create a layer on top and use a brush with the pink, just a really soft brush with the pink that's right above the water. And I can go in and just soften that line and then I can even adjust and lower the opacity here 
So now that line isn't as obvious and you know I can make the line go completely away depending on how strong I want it to be. So now you have your beautiful reflection for your image. Um, you can leave it just as is or crop to fit a certain size that you need. Um, if you're wanting to go for a 4 by 6 ratio, this gives you room to crop and have the reflection down at the bottom. I do tend to like um, playing with the horizontal images with the flood plugin uh, more than using the vertical images. It just gives you the option to have a wider canvas to work with and then you can crop it down to a vertical image afterwards. Um, starting with a vertical image tends to be a little more narrow and a, kind of an awkward size um, if you want to get the whole reflection in the water. But there you have it. It's pretty simple to use. I hope that this helped and that my rambling was not too distracting. Thanks guys.